all right guys so now we are going to look for the marginal of y now in my previous video we we're doing marginal of x and now we're doing the marginal, marginal of y which means the f of 2 of y or you can say f of y of y and now be equal to the summation of x of f of x y now I want you guys to understand that for in this case we are looking for y so f of 2 of y let's say y we know that for some reason we already know that y cannot equal to 1 because if you have looked at the found the previous video that I posted um, y is the sum of the two dice it says right here is the sum of them so y cannot be equal to 1 because there is no die that has a 0 uh, in one of the sides so y can start with 2 but now if y starts with 2 we know that x has to be equal to 1 and y has to be equal to 2 because if y is the sum of the red and the green then x has to be equal to 1 and the green has to be equal to 1 so there's only one possibility for that to happen is if both of them are equal to 1 so that's going to be 1 out of 36 now if we go to y f of 2 of 3 this now is different because we can see that if y is equal to 3 x the red die can equal to 1 or 2 uh, let me put that actually in a better way I'm going to say 3 if y is equal to 1 x can equal to 1 or 2 okay. which is x is red and the green and uh, the red dice and the green one and the green dice can be equal to one or two so if x can equal to one or two which is the red die and the green die can equal to one or two then we have two possibilities of the of f of two of three uh, of yes of two of three which will be two out of 36 because x can be equal to one or two and the green one the green die can equal to one or two so we have two possibilities and you probably see a pattern and I'm going to do this the problem is if you have good if you have to go to f of 2 of 4 there is the summation of x where x can be 1 or 2 or 3 and y is equal to 4 and let me put that like this it's actually, I mean, yeah, let me let me do that. Um, so basically, x can be one, two, or three, or y can, or the green dice can be one or two or three, and this will go for some reason all the way to f of seven, f of two of seven, where x actually the summation x where x can be equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and y is equal to 7 and the funny thing is x can be equal to 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 5 or 6 the same way the green dice can be equal to 1 or 2 or 3 so in this case you're going to you're going to have in here you're going to have uh six or i would say seven because it's seven you're going to have six possibilities out of 36 and here you're going to have three possibilities out of 36 now what does that mean this means as soon as you get to seven this is the highest point the highest possibility we can get is six so what's going to happen is when you go up to 8, 9, 10 you're going to go down again so basically 
and this is what the PMF of this one. Let me see if I can actually uh, put that. The PMF of this would be the PMF of Y. It would be because you, because of how it's going to happen. You would have for y equal to two. For y equal to two and twelve, then the actually let me put it, let me put it this way instead. I want, I'm going to try to make it in a better way. Okay, so you're gonna have one possibility out of thirty-six when y is equal to two or twelve. Then you're gonna have a possibility of two out of thirty-six for y equal to three or eleven, and then three out of thirty-six when y equals to four and ten, and then four out of thirty-six when y equals to five and nine, and five out of thirty-six when y equals to 6 and 8 and 6 out of 36 when y equals to 7. Now these are the possibilities for the PMF of y. The PMF of y. Why? It's because y is the summation. So and guys, I just went through to uh, I went through it really fast uh, because I don't want to take um, spend much time on it. But if you watch my video that I posted before, you will see the graph that I made, and with the graph you can actually verify what I just uh, showed you right here at the PMF, and the graph would show it to you. Plainly, you will probably even understand it better with the graph. So, uh, this is the PMF of y, and because it's a sum, it's it, it, it's a it's a summation of the two dice. Then when you roll them, then the PMF of y is different. Uh, you would have different possibilities uh, with uh, different numbers. So. Uh, this is the PMF. I hope you guys understand. And if you don't understand, before you comment, go back and watch my one of the videos that I had that showed the graph of it. And if you can, if you find it, then you can actually look at the graph and look at the PMF of Y, and you you understand why it is the way it is. So, thank you for watching my videos and have a good day. Bye.